underlying, there's two important words, emotion and immediate. Sean, you had a question? No, I'm just saying they're justified later with logic and intellect. Right, but most salespeople do it the opposite. They give a presentation, they give a features and benefits. They, they tell them everything about their product or service under the sun, instead of identifying what are the emotional needs of that prospect to make an immediate decision today. People buy Lamborghinis in one visit. They buy condos and houses in one visit. They make spontaneous, anybody here ever make a spontaneous decision, an important one? It was just right, yeah. you, said, you said, you know, let's just do this. I can't, I, I remember once I, I kept, when I was a kid, I, I used to have a series of bad cars that broke down all the time. I was always stuck on the road somewhere calling tow trucks. And one day I said, I don't care. I'm getting a new explode on rear impact Pinto. That was my first new car. It was the worst <laughs> car ever made, by the way. Okay. But I made a spontaneous decision that I could not afford, but I was just so emotionally sick of this car breaking down. Uh, can we get people to be like that in, in business, in real estate, in consulting, in, in marketing, in anything? Absolutely. We can cl I'm telling you right now, you can close people in one phone call, maybe two, never three. The minute you start doing that back and forth and texting and emailing, and I'll call you later, and they go on the witness protection program, what happened to all that emotional all that emotional guts that you worked on in the first phone call, where does it go? To the wayside. It, it, it disappears. You know, we're creating a theater here in their mind with the questions we ask. And then we use that word that Nicole said earlier, that what's that powerful word that we try to create in people's mind? Imagine. 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 Okay. Someone sell me a someone sell me a house. Give me an imagine situation. Who's my who's my volunteer here? I want you to close me in one in maybe a couple sentences by using the imagine and paint paint me inside that house with my wife. It's this cold, snowy night. It's snowing. The fireplace. Somebody close me. Come on. Who hasn't gone yet? Somebody new. Come on. You're out there. I could you, I could try. Go ahead. You go, I don't know. I've never, you know, I'm, I've never bought a house before. And um, I'm, I mean, you're a great guy and I can afford it and everything, but I'm really nervous about this purchase. I've never made such a big buy in my life. Oh, definitely, Claude. I totally understand that it's a big commitment. And, uh, but I just want you to imagine something. Imagine being there with your wife, your two children, enjoying a nice snowy day. You look outside the window, you see the mountains up there. You are up there at ten thousand feet. Um, you can go to the you can go to the ski area. You can enjoy see the snow falling down. How how would that make you feel? I feel you cold. Know, to your family. <laughs> I feel very cold right now. Oh, cold, right? But it will be warm inside. Well, what about your family? How would you feel? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, I totally understand. Yes, it will be cold outside. Give me, right? give me more. Give me more senses. Give me smell, sight, hearing. Give me taste. Give me touch. Imagine, you know, give me a little bit more. Uh, so you'll be there, you know, uh, observing the outside by being cozy with your family, hugging your children, uh, watching a Christmas uh, movie, um, smelling the nice the nice cooking that your wife is making. Oh, I'm sure you, like oh, you told yeah. me, it's delicious oh, yeah. apple pies or whatever she makes, right? And uh, your children just laughing, you know, listening to them laughing because, you know, they are in a place that they can call home. Now close me. Good. Ask me the million dollar question. So now, Claude, based on this, what, what, what would you like to do next? What do you think? Give me a little bit more. Say, can you see yourself here, Claude? It's okay to say no to me, but you came to me and you're in that little apartment and now you can have all this. Claude, you came to me, you came from that little apartment, now you can have something called home. You can say oh, no to me right oh, now. Oh, whoa, 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 you just said a million dollar word. What comes in people's mind when you say, you can make a home? Oh, oh. Was that, emo was that emotional? Definitely. <laughs> oh, that was, oh, that was, when you said that word, is, whose heart melted right away? Yes, you, your heart, right? Right. This is the emotion I'm saying. Close, finish up with the home and you got me sold. Go for it. 
Okay, well, Claude, now you can have a place that you can call home. You can say no to me right now, but what would you like to do next? Uh, yeah, let's just do, oh, oh, let's just do this. Oh, this is wonderful.